Howdy there folks, I'm Quinn of Snazzy Labs and this is the Snazzy HQ office tour. Let's get started. So here we are, we're on the inside of the office. Over here I have the, the, the office that's mine. I have a garage and we have a, a bathroom. And this is really where all the magic happens. This is Snazzy Labs headquarters. Uh, I'm going to be doing more information on this as, as time comes, and I'm still changing out some parts that need to be changed. But this is pretty much the setup that will stay. Uh, here on this wall is where I will be filming my videos. I have a, a image right now that I, I bought in Bolivia, and I'm just going to buy a little table over here to put and, and to start filming my reviews and, and such things as that. Here in the corner I have stuff to store uh, while I'm not using it. Right now I have the two lights that I use that I love to death. Uh, these have been great lights. I bought them on Amazon for about $150 and they've held up a charm. I've replaced the bulbs one time, perhaps twice, I don't really remember, but they do a really, really great job for, for lighting the subject that I need to, to be able to film. And this is a Quantare uh, tripod that I bought for about $80. It's not the best tripod, but I've been using it since 2013? No. 2014, since 2011, and it's been great. I mean, it's really, really held up. Here on the floor, I have the extension cord, which is actually powering my whole setup. Uh, there was a, a port right there on the wall, which just was in a terrible eyesore position. So we're going to move it to the floor, but meantime, I'm just using an extension cord to the other outlet over here. And right there on the wall, I have a sombrero de Tarija Bolivia um, from from Bolivia. <laughs> Over here I have some stuff that I'm not going to need anymore. Uh, this Vizio display I'm going to sell uh, on the classifieds just because I don't need it. It's a 21 inch display that I was using for quite a while but it no longer is, is something that I need. And here on the floor I have my Apple Mac Pro, uh, the box rather, which I'm just going to put into storage and there is a Thunderbolt cable which I don't need. I bought that actually to hook up from my Mac Pro to my display but I, I had not remembered or I had not known that the Asus displays don't carry a mini display port input. It's just a regular display port. So I had to buy a cable from Amazon and I'll be returning that little bad boy right now actually to the Apple Store. Here on my desk I have a MacBook Air, the 2013 model that I mentioned the other day. I have my Mac, uh, excuse me, my iPad mini Retina and I have the HTC One M8. I'm in love with all three of the devices. I'll be talking a little bit more about them in the future. And this is probably the, the most substantial, the most special thing about my setup, which is the new Apple Mac Pro. I just bought the baseline model. I got the four core, I think it's 3.06 gigahertz. It's a quad core uh, processor. I have the, the standard 12 gigabytes of RAM and the basic 256 gigabytes of storage. It's not the best specs, but for what I need, it's just fine. I'm really expecting that this Mac will last me at least three to four years. I mean, it's it's great. I, I don't have any reason to to put in Buku hardware because I'm just not going to use it. Here on the MacBook Air, I do have more storage, actually. I have 500 uh, gigabytes of storage, and I have um, eight gigabytes of RAM. But this Mac, uh, this Mac Pro is a lot more powerful, and it's, it's actually just going to stay here at work. It's for editing and for processing, and that's really about it. My daily driver that I'm going to use to listen to music, be on the internet, all that stuff, is my MacBook Air that I'll use at home and at, at school in the university. So that's about it. Uh, right here I have two Klipsch speakers, uh, which I, I love. I'm quite fond of. They're actually hooked down on the floor to the subwoofer here. Uh, they're not the best speakers, but they are pretty good. I, I do expect in the near future to upgrade my sound setup because I've left the the uh, Woo Audio WA6 and um, the Cambridge Audio preamplifier hooked up to my vinyl record player, uh, my Project Debut 3, which is in, in my home. I'm, I'm, I'm listening to music there. So uh, right here I just kind of brought some cheek speakers to, to, well, to last meantime. Here on the floor I also have a UPS. This is a, basically a big battery pack that, that fuels my, my setup in case of a power outage. Not only does it have a surge processor uh, protector, <laughs> but it also has a, a pretty good battery. So if for whatever reason the power goes out, which oftentimes here it does, I'll have at least a couple minutes to, to close down my work and all that stuff. And I'm actually going to install some software that's provided by the manufacturer, which is CyberPower to have my Mac automatically shut itself down in case there is a power outage so that there's no data loss. And here on the floor I have my Drobo FS which I reviewed about two years ago before I left. This has still got the same uh, three, well there's three hard drives, each are two terabytes a piece. 
So there's six terabytes in total of storage, but I can only write to four terabytes because the other two are redundant. Just in case one of the drives fails, there's no data loss. Right here I have the DOS Keyboard S Ultimate series. This was a keyboard that I bought on Amazon. As you can see, it's a little bit different than the one I uh, reviewed two years ago. There's no markings on the keys, which I, I thought was pretty slick. But it was a Windows keyboard, so I had to reprogram kind of uh, the keys in, a, in an applet that's available for uh, 10.9 uh, on the Mac. And right here I have my Logitech uh, Professional MX. It's a great mouse. I've been using this for two years, and uh, I love it. And underneath that is a Just Mobile um, mouse pad, which I am also quite fond of. This is kind of a, a plasticky uh, finish, plastic coating over the top of uh, aluminum, which is really rather cool. I have my coasters there, which I also bought in Bolivia that are pretty cute. And here on the bottom, I have some stuff that's not quite hooked up yet. I have my Epiphany Acoustics EHP-02. I'm going to use these when I use uh, my my in-ear audio here in the office when I'm using headphones. That is the same music streamer DAC, the digital to analog converter that I talked about a couple years ago. I'm going to hook this up. It's still not hooked up. It is hooked up by USB, but not quite by the auxiliary cables that I need to buy. And over here is the Hi-Fi Man EF2A, which I, I don't know. It's just kind of sitting there right now, but I do have the desire and the plans to start using it. And this is an LG uh, disc burner and reader. It's not Blu-ray, it's just DVD. And uh, I don't really want that, but there are a few necessary evils still that require me to use a disc. And over here is kind of just a, a junkyard. Well, just a, an old, an, a museum perhaps, of old equipment. I, bought, I left all my other Macs in another place, but I want to bring them uh, here to the office and put them outside in, in kind of the entryway, which will be cool. And that's the Quick Take 200 that I did a retro review on two years ago, and that is the Palm Pixie. This is the album from my brother, the Solar Suit album. Uh, please check this out. It really is good. I mean, it's not just me promoting my brother. It's an awesome album. Uh, I recommend uh, several songs from there. Just check it out. It's, uh, it's on Amazon. It's on Mog. It's on Audio, Spotify. Whatever music provider you have, uh, the Solar Suit album is there. Uh, enough promoting. <laughs> this is the Asus display I picked up. The model number escapes me. I'm going to put it in the notes. It is not a 4K display, seen as those, well, seen as that they're very expensive and still not very practical. This is a WQHD display, which means it's 2560 by 1440 in resolution. It's not quite as retina as the Retina MacBook, but it is significantly better than the iMacs that are currently held by Apple, and it's also better than their own Thunderbolt display. So that's why I picked up this monitor. It looks amazing. I mean, it really does look good. And the best part is that it was $450 on Amazon, so that was great, and I'm very, very satisfied with the monitor. I'm going to get a wall bracket so I can put it up there on the wall. That would be nice. And then up there top, that is the Face Vision. I think it's the N1, which is the, the HD webcam that they offer. It's a 720p camera. It's not the best, but it serves my purposes. And uh, this is the, the Mac running the, the version of, of, uh, of Mavericks, which is 10.9.3. Uh, that was an update that came yesterday and promised bug fixes to this beloved Mac Pro. But I'm still experiencing some weird stuff. I'll talk about this in future videos. But when I do the actual video, um, or when I do heavy car uh, duty processing, the Mac Pro performs great. When I have Final Cut open, there are no delays. It is awesome. And it processes like a beast. The problem is in just basic apps, switching windows and doing kind of stuff, it is very laggy and sometimes it even come, it, it snatches, it, it hangs up for about one to two seconds, which is really bizarre. When I type on the keyboard quickly, it doesn't register very fast on the screen. There's a lot of stuff that Apple needs to do to kind of make this computer up to where it needs to be. But I, I'll be waiting for that patiently. Oh, my screen's here. It's just turned on. And, uh, well, that's really about it. I've talked about every part of my setup, except for the microphone here. This is the Boom. And that is an Audio-Technica ATR2000, I believe it's called. Um, the notes will also be listed. Um, in the notes will be listed the microphone. This is a microphone that I picked up on Amazon for 50 bucks, and it sounds amazing. The, the microphone that is well known by all the podcasters is the Heil PR40. It's not a condenser microphone like uh, some of the microphones I've reviewed from Blue, uh, like the Snowball. Rather, it's a cardioid, conden or it's a cardioid um, uh, dynamic microphone. So the capsule doesn't pick up everything. This picks up room noise. It picks up, it picks up everything. You do get a really lush, uh, deep voice out of these microphones that's exaggerated. But the dynamic cardioid microphones are more accurate, and they don't pick up room noise. We have an HVAC system here, uh, air conditioning, and it's really loud. So it picks up everything in the room, and that's why I bought this, this cardioid microphone. 
but it's awesome. It sounds like the Hi-Op R40 almost. I mean, it's not quite as good, but it sounds amazing for being a $50 microphone. I have it hooked up uh, via USB right now, but I'm going to buy a pre-amplifier and, and hook it up through, through XLR, a mixer. Uh, will you? And so that really is my office setup. That's what we've got going on right now. There's still a lot to improve. You can see the cables back there are all strewn. I just haven't had a ton of time to set it up, and I'm still actualizing everything. But that is my office tour. Uh, please, uh, well, you don't have to. You can rate thumbs up, thumbs down. It's the same to me. <laughs> but I thank you so much for your support and your continued love here on Snazzy Labs. I am reading your responses that you've given me last night on the live stream, and I will be uh, purchasing equipment, Sigun, or that was kind of Spanish, uh, <laughs> based upon the needs that I see. And I'll be delivering content as early as, as next week. Monday, I hope to put a video up, a retro review of the uh, Mac G5 that I that I have for quite some time now. I had to cut for a minute. My lips started bleeding, and that was terribly painful. Please subscribe, rate, and comment. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, stay snazzy. See you later, folks.